Hi everyone, this is Bhavya and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be telling you about how to choose the right shade of foundation, how to apply a foundation and some tips and tricks. So if you are interested, then please keep on watching this video. The first thing you should keep in your mind while selecting the right foundation is knowing your skin type. So if you are an oily skin type of a person, then I would suggest you to invest in a matte foundation. This way, your skin will look balanced. You will not look too oily that way. If you are a dry skin type of a person just like me, then invest in a dewy foundation. This way, you will not look too dry and flaky. And if you are a combination skin type of a person, then congratulations, you can use any foundation you want, provided that you have put primer just at the right places on your face, that is on your T-zone, because that's where most of the oiliness is. For buying a right foundation, you can do two things. Number one, you can either go online, search which is the best foundation, read its review online and go to a website where you can have a good discount, search that foundation, virtually match the shade of your skin with the foundation. If you're satisfied, then add it to the cart and purchase it. Somehow buying foundation online has never worked for me because I always end up having a wrong shade. It's humanly not possible to match your skin tone virtually to a photograph where you can, you know, there are a number of swatches there and you can, you know, it's like choosing which is the right foundation for you. It has never worked for me, never ever. So I really don't follow this step. What I do is the second step. I go online, search which is the best foundation, read its review and then go to a store where I can find that foundation, sit there, give some time and then swatch the foundation, see it on me. If I'm happy with it, then I go ahead and purchase it. Now, I completely understand that online offers are more alluring than the store ones. I don't know if I should be telling you that or not, but what I do is I go to that store, see the foundation, find the perfect match. I come back home, see if there is a good offer online going on. I place order there and then. And no, I don't feel guilty at all about it because it's my hard earned money. Now, how to choose the right shade of foundation? Now, choosing the right shade of foundation is really an easy task, but I'm afraid it is not in India because very few shades are launched here. For example, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation has launched 40 shades in their foundations. Imagine 40 shades. And in India, I just saw online before making this video on Nykaa, they have 14 shades, like from 40 to 14 shades. But somehow it is of no use to me, even the 14 shades, because I don't purchase foundation online. Now, if you go to a Maybelline store, I bet you guys, you will have not more than four to five or maximum six shades. So when you go into an actual store, I just feel out of 40 shades, like I have barely six shades to swatch on my face. And I ended up purchasing Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, which is an ivory shade that was the closest match to my skin tone. Come on, I don't want the closest match to my skin tone. I want the actual shade which can match my skin tone. So coming to that, the first thing you have to know is knowing your undertone. For knowing your undertone, just take a moment and look at your wrist here. If you see green veins, then you are a warm undertone person. If you see purple or blue veins, then you are a cool undertone person. And if you see both blue and green veins, then you are a neutral undertone person. Now, when you go to a store, you have to tell that person, I'm looking for a foundation for warm undertones or for cool undertones or for neutral undertones. So once you tell that person that what undertone you're looking for, what he'll do, he'll go to that undertone range and pick up the right shade for you and come back to you with two, three shades which can actually match your skin tone. Once he gets back to you with possible shades, now you have to take things in your hand. You have to sit there, swatch it on your face. Now, what is the major mistake that most of us do here? That when we go to a store, either we swatch it here or we swatch it here. Well, guys, here's a fact. None of our body parts have same skin tone. So you have to actually apply the foundation where you have to actually apply the foundation later on. The perfect match will be that foundation which looks almost invisible to your skin tone. Once you get hands on that, take my advice, never leave it, trust me. 
Now, there are certain instances where you may not find an expert or a good advisor when you go to the store. So in such case, you have to look for foundation all by yourself. Therefore, I will be telling you on how to choose the foundation on your own. First of all, know your undertone and then search for your foundation. Now, some companies thankfully are very wise and therefore they name their foundation as per their undertone. So if you are a warm undertone person, you have to look for names like warm beige, warm nude or sun buff. Similarly, cool tones will have names like cool tan, ivory, porcelain and neutral undertones will be like natural beige, natural buff or medium tan and so on. Before applying foundation, make sure that you have washed your face and moisturized your face and also you have used primer on your face. This will allow a smooth application of the foundation which will look very much skin like. So there are two ways of applying foundation. One is with the brush and two with the beauty blender which is my personal favorite. Try not to use your fingers because this way the product is wasted. You don't get even application and also it does not blend into your skin quite nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply half of my face with a brush and half of my face with a beauty blender while applying foundation with brush make sure you move brush in downward strokes because if you're gonna move it in upward strokes your facial hair will stand up which will look a bit weird so yeah move your brush in downward strokes with beauty blender the technique is quite simple take foundation directly on the blender and apply it in a bouncing motion on your face beauty blender gives a skin like finish and you can always build up your foundation for coverage unlike with brush this side of my face has beauty blender application and on other side i have used brush you can clearly see which has more skin like finish so guys here's how you have to apply foundation after applying foundation make sure you set it with a loose powder or a compact powder or a pressed powder Powder so that your foundation doesn't creases and it lasts longer. So we have finally finished with applying foundation. Here are some few tips and tricks that might actually help you to put a flawless foundation on your face. Number one, if you have dry skin and if you have a matte foundation, then put some face serum or oil in it so that when you apply the foundation, the finish comes out to be dewy. This trick was told to me by Pallavi from Just Girly Stuff 101. I'll link her channel somewhere here on the screen so that you can go and check out her channel as well. Number two, if you have purchased a wrong shade of foundation, for example, if you have purchased a lighter shade of foundation and you want to balance it out, then you have to purchase a darker shade foundation than your skin tone. Just in case you don't want to purchase a foundation and you want to go with a cheaper option, then it's always handy to buy a BB cream. Choose a BB cream which is a shade darker than your skin tone. So when you actually apply the foundation, you mix both your foundation and BB cream together to get the right shade. Similarly, if you have purchased darker shade, then go for a lighter shade of BB cream and mix them both to get the perfect shade on your face. Number three, if you want to have a radiant finish on your skin, then the best tip is add few drops of rose water in your foundation mix it and then apply it immediately you will notice the radiance on your face so guys that was all about foundation tips and tricks i hope you liked the video if you like then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up share this video among your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also please don't forget to comment down your feedback about this video also let me know which video would you want me to do next i'm going to see you soon till then bye